little bit niche, but if you've followed me for any length of time, you probably know by now that I am obsessed with Taylor Swift. I love her so much, oh my God. I'm like an OG Swifty, super fan of her since like 2006, 2007. And so when I tell you that I am excited for the Eras tour that actually I was somehow lucky enough to get tickets for, I have no idea how this happened, some stroke of luck, but I fought for my life for those tickets. I'll tell you that much. I fought for my life. And I can't believe I'm saying this, but within hours of me posting this video, I will actually be attending her concert. I could gag with excitement. And for this tour, it really feels like everybody is collectively deciding to dress up. And for the Eras tour, we have literally 10 albums to choose from. And I've gone back and forth about what I wanna do. You know, I've done Taylor Swift theme videos in the past where I create like a thrifted look for each era. I have done videos with my friend Sierra Schultze in the past where we've done like red era looks for my channel and then like different eras for her channel. And I went back and forth about it and I was like, you know what, I have to do Midnight's. I feel like I have to do Midnight's, it's the newest era. And I decided to go for it. So I am going to essentially DIY my look and it's just like really fun for me. I was gonna do this anyways. And then I decided last minute, you know what? Let's just like film it. So I searched the internet. We don't have too much Midnight's to pull from at this point, but I was super inspired by this look, which is a look that Taylor wore to like the VMA after party in 2022, which was also the night that she announced the Midnight's era. And I just love this look so much. I wish that this was kind of the aesthetic for the album, for like the album art and everything. Um, I just love it. So I decided to create a version of my own. I like scoured ThreadUp and Poshmark and like also purchased a couple different things that I'm gonna try on with you. Gonna find the right thing and then we're gonna do a little bit of a DIY. I'm not very good at DIYs, but we're gonna try our best. So let's get started. All right, so for the first element of this outfit, I knew I needed to find like a sort of shaggy fur-esque style coat because I'm not buying a fur coat for this, I'm simply not. So I actually found this one on Poshmark. It was being sold for like 15 or $18 or something like that. And it's kind of more of like a teddy bear material, but I mean, it's shaggy. I can wear it sort of like hanging off of my shoulders. I feel like it'll give the general vibe. And then I can probably just like donate it to my thrift store when I'm done with it or resell it on Poshmark or whatever. So we have this, this is done squared away. And then for the actual dress element, I thrifted a bunch of pieces on ThreadUp. I think I ended up getting maybe like five or six dresses to choose from. So let's try those on and see how it goes. Okay, I'm sorry, but in what universe is this an extra large? I'm dead. <laughs> I'm so devastated because this is like the closest that I feel like I'm gonna get to the actual material. Um, this is like a nice stretchy sort of satiny type of material. You can see my bike shorts underneath. We're gonna pretend you don't see that. This one is just an absolute 100% no. Next we have this thrifted one, which is better. It's a step in the right direction for sure, but it's just not perfect. It's giving more like business casual than anything. I would have to like go braless and that's just simply not an option. I didn't notice the lace on the back. So this one's definitely a no as well. This one, absolute nightmare. And it's just like, I can't even get it up in the back. It's like so bad. It's like lopsided. It's super freaking short. The material is awful. This is an absolute no. I feel like we started off better than where we're going now. Like, so I have two more options and those are probably gonna be my two most promising. So let's keep our fingers crossed for those because this is a freaking mess. All right, now we have this one and it's funny because actually this is giving me like major speak now vibes. I think it's like, just just the style. So this isn't like exactly what I'd be going for, but I feel like with this one, it's by Old Navy. I know it's in my right size. I know I would be comfortable. That's like the biggest one, just like running around dancing all night. I feel like I'd be the most comfortable in this because I know it fits type of thing. So this might be one to consider. I also wish that it was just more of like a royal blue. I do wish like the bottom skirt was a little bit different, but it doesn't have to be perfect. It's just for fun. So I'm gonna like tab this as my number one option, but we have another one to try, so let's try it. All right, and last but not least, I do love this one. It would be pretty close to perfect as far as what I was looking for, but the back, it ties up and it's honestly just like so open and I wouldn't be able to wear a bra and I feel like I'd be worried about my boob popping out all night long. And it's like the perfect material, it really is, but I just think I'm gonna go with the last one and just go with what's gonna make me the most comfortable. So I think we have a winner, which is the old navy dress. And now let's try on the shoes and see what shoes end up working out. 
All right, and then for the shoes, I have this pair. These are actually all from ThreadUp besides the last pair. This looks pretty accurate to what Taylor was wearing, although I don't know about this heel. <laughs> not sure. I've got the dress on that I'm going to wear at the concert so we can get like a better idea. Oh, absolutely not. I'm not even gonna put the second one on because we just know that these are no. They're cute, what they look like. It would be pretty accurate, but I am not about to hurt myself um, just to go to this concert and feel like I look cute. I couldn't even walk like from the car into the stadium with this. So these are unfortunately going to be a no. Let's move on before I seriously injure myself. All right, next we have another thrifted pair. These are by the brand Naturalizer, I think it's called. And these are a little bit better, definitely like a lower heel. And maybe because it's more of a block heel, it's like a lot easier. These are like night and day compared to the last ones. And it honestly feels like there's even a little bit of like padding in the ball of the foot. Got a couple more to cover though. So let's try them. Next we have a different style pair. These are more of like a just kind of low block heel that would be a lot more comfortable. Although now that I have them on. They're really, really rough. Um, I got these ones on Amazon. I'm probably going to return them. The sort of like sparkly material is already rubbing against the back of my ankle and on like the side of my toes. So I don't think these are going to be the ones. And I have one more option that I saw that's straying a little bit more from like, I'm losing the plot a little bit, but hear me out because they're really, really cute. Okay. And then my last option is a little something different. It's a boot because I saw these boots and I was like, these are the most magnificent thing I've ever seen. It's giving me like bejeweled vibes and it still goes really well with what I'm going for for the rest of the outfit, which is like the stars and the rhinestones, glitter, sparkles. These are pretty comfortable to walk around in. I think these might be the winners. I might have to make a game time decision between these thrifted heels and then these boots. I like them both for different reasons and they're both pretty comfy. So we'll see what I end up wearing, but at least we have our options. We have our foundation. Now let's get started on DIYing this dress. I'm so excited. All right, it's DIY time. I am a little nervous about this, but I have faith in myself. I think I can do this. So as far as the supplies that I ended up getting to create this DIY, I found these iron-on stars on Amazon. I'm not entirely sure how comfortable I feel with the iron-on aspect. So I do have some hot glue as a backup and I purchased these Gorilla hot glue sticks. So they're like the really grippy kind. And I dealt with some iron-ons when I made my reputation dress sweatshirt from the Look What You Made Me Do video. Um, I featured that in my friend Sierra's video. It was a doozy. It was a doozy to work with the iron-on stuff. Um, so I don't know. We're gonna see how I feel about that. And then I also got some rhinestone trim for like the straps and the neckline. I've got my hot glue gun ready to go. I've got my iron heated up ready to go. I've got the dress that I selected. I've got my water in case I get parched. Probably should have got a cocktail for this. I'm kind of gonna loosely set out where I think these stars should go. And then we'll go from there. All right, now I've got all of the stars lined up where I want them and positioned in place. And now that I'm thinking about it, I don't have like the proper pins or like sewing machine materials to like ensure that these things stay in place. And then like repeatedly over and over again, flip it inside out, iron it, flip it back, flip like one by one. That sounds like a logistical nightmare. So I think I'm just gonna go for it with the hot glue. I mean, I'm only wearing it for one night. So, okay, first star. A little nervous. Please, please wish me luck. There is gonna be so much hot glue to clean up off of this thing when I'm done. First one. It's so cute. I'm already obsessed. All right, I'm gonna try to hold it down like kind of firmly. Yeah, that was the right move. That was the right move. I'm so proud of myself. Okay, let's do this. No, 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 no. Okay, we had our first casualty. Oh no. It's okay, we can fix this, we can fix this. Oh dear. <laughs> it looks so bad from here. So um, yeah, this is what it's looking like. I'm gonna have to get in there maybe with like some tweezers or something and clean that up because uh, it's not looking good. All right, we've progressed a little bit. We're doing okay. Um, I've done better. 
but I've done worse. So I think I'm going to attempt my first big star, which is really scary because flipping these things over is terrifying. And also having to work with the hot glue on such a big surface when like, you know it's gonna dry in a matter of seconds, really scary. So, okay, let's see what we can do here. I feel like I'm gonna use like an entire stick of glue on this. I'm gonna be a lot more careful this time. Okay, not bad. Oh, that's a huge relief. I was really stressed about that one. That was the big one. Oh, okay, now it's coming together. Now I'm getting excited. Probably at the end of this, when I'm done, I will go back through and just sort of not only pick all this freaking glue off with tweezers that I messed up, but also just glue down like all of the corners and the sides and stuff just to be 100% certain that it's like gonna stay down. I have gotten a lot more confident as I've moved along because I've done like what half so far. So, okay, let's continue and keep on going with our little constellation dress. I love her. All right, we've made it to the final star. We did it. This actually, I would say, has probably taken me about 30 minutes. So really not that much time at all. I could have easily, if I wasn't, you know, filming myself for YouTube, like watched an episode of my favorite TV show, listen to a podcast episode, watch some YouTube videos. In retrospect, I'm like, why didn't I do that? <laughs> and it just goes by really quickly. It was kind of nice, actually. All right, here we go. Right, Ooh, it looks so cute. So I'm gonna leave this to dry for a little bit before I go with the rhinestone trim. And then I also grabbed a mask because it is a concert and we are still in a pandemic and there's gonna be a lot of people. And I wanna bring this in case I wanna use it just cause it's gonna make me feel more comfortable. And we're going on a big trip shortly after. So I just, I really can't be getting sick. So I might actually glue some of these stars on this mask because I think that would be really cute. So I'll probably just do that off camera and then we will come back and do the trim and then we're done. So exciting. Okay, we took a little break. If I have snacks in my teeth, just mind your business, okay? So next I'm gonna do this trim, which, okay, in retrospect, definitely should have studied a little bit harder because this trim is incredibly, incredibly thin. And now that I'm looking at the reference photo again, it looks like Taylor has almost like individually glued gems on there. I'm just trying to decide what's best, but wish me freaking luck. I'm gonna start in the middle and then just kind of like secure that down and then we will go from there. I already regret this, I already regret this. Oh yeah, this is chaos, absolute chaos. I'm an idiot. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, this is a mess. Oh, this was such a terrible idea. Like I literally thought this was gonna be the easy part. Nope, I might bail on this, but I also think it would be really cute. Okay, back to the drawing board. You know what I'm gonna do? I think I'm gonna return this little string here, this trim, and I'm going to buy individual jewels and just do it because at this point I've committed this far and I'm not letting this dress defeat me. And basically I'm gonna put everything on together and then we're done. So. That's exciting. This took like an hour of my day. I'm so glad I did it. It's been so fun to put together and I cannot wait to wear this to the concert. I'm so excited. So the supplies I ordered for this were B7000 glue that I saw good reviews about and it's good for fabric um, and also just a bajillion pack of these rhinestones. <laughs> Drew is obviously very excited to be in the frame and it took about two days for these to arrive and I'm so glad I waited to do this and I just took the little tip. It comes with like a little needle in the cap and actually used a tiny bit of glue to like pick up each of the rhinestones and then put like a tiny dollop of glue on the back of them and then glue them back to the dress and Drew was actually helping me a little bit with like putting some of them down because they were a little bit sticky and I am so glad I did this. I did it along the neckline and the strap and I think it turned out so cute and I may potentially add some more to the actual body like Taylor had but I'm in love with it. All right, it's a few days later, I'm finally done. I'm so glad I waited to add these like little extra touches. It's also pouring rain outside. So if you hear a little bit of like ASMR rain vibes, 
enjoy. But here is the final product. I'm so happy with how this turned out. It's not like exact. I really would have preferred like a romper or maybe a dress that was more satin. But like I've mentioned before in this video, I am just prioritizing comfort. I know this fits. I know it's going to be comfortable. I know I can wear my bike shorts. It gets the general vibe across without being like exact. You know, I'm not cosplaying as Taylor. I'm just dressing up as one of the eras. So I decided to add a couple little extra touches. I did a fun little like sparkly eyeliner look which is similar to what Taylor was wearing. I used the Urban Decay glitter eyeliner. I also added Taylor's signature red lip or so the internet says which is Dragon Girl by NARS. It's like one of the best lipsticks I've ever worn. It's so good. And then I decided to throw on this cute little pair of sparkly earrings. These are from Amazon. Very bejeweled, very cute, very on theme. I also have a big hair change coming next week which is going to look very different uh, when this finished product is done. So make sure you follow me on Instagram if you want to see that if you're interested in that at all. And I I could probably keep adding to this forever, but this gets the point across, like I mentioned, and it's just gonna be so much fun. I cannot believe that a couple days from you seeing this video, I will be seeing Taylor live. If you are going on opening night in Arizona, let me know in the comments. Come say hi to me. If you're going to any other shows, leave it down in the comments below. I'm so excited for you and let me know what you're dressing up as. I may potentially be going to another show later this year and maybe doing another different look. So if you wanna see a video for that, let me know in the comments below. But yeah, thanks for entertaining me, even though this isn't like my typical content. Um, it's just something that is like near and dear to my heart And I wanted to share this joy with you So hopefully you enjoyed it if you did give this video a thumbs up You can also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already turn on my post notifications If you want to be notified every time I post a new video, I'm sending you all my love Thank you so much for being here, and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye